All right, so third time's the charm on this. Uh, next game, which is last game of 2017, first game of 2018, because this isn't going to be a one-stream thing. Uh, Mole Mania, one of my favorite Game Boy games. Surprise, You, if you're watching us on YouTube, you already know, because you saw the thumbnail. Alright, so, we got VBA loaded up. I could close this shit. Okay, sounds working. Oh, you were here for that? Jesus. Cool, alright, Mole Mania time. Fun game. That wasn't part of it. How's the sound? I'm gonna have to go through all these recordings afterwards and, and like, delete the one that's only, like, a minute long. Okay, cool. Romania. All right, neat. Very Game Boy, yeah. So versus mode, I've never played ever. So the story is uh, the mother mole and her eight children or seven children are playing outside. This asshole comes and knocks them all out and steals them. Also, I could close my stream on here now. There's a grandpa mole in the background, and there's the main character that you play as. I believe this game was made by Miyamoto himself, I'm not sure. Your wife and kids are mine. If you want them back, come visit me in Jinbei land. I'll be waiting. From Jinbei. So, this guy, I guess, is an asshole. And took over the land. Welcome. Hey, Furball. My seven lackeys have come... Uh, it's been a long stream after that last game. Hey, Furball, my seven lackeys have your family. Come and get them if you can. I'll be waiting. I need to replace this water. It's very warm and stagnant-y. So this game has kind of a weird, like, top-down Zelda-esque style. Uh, you solve puzzles. You have your abilities that you could dig underground. And... When you're underground, you can essentially make paths that go like, behind other things and burrow back up and some fun shit. You'll see as I go along. Level 1. Hop hop, here you are. I'm Kangaroon, I'm the first boss. Be ready. Hop hop. That dude puts a lot of money into statues of himself, huh? Yeah. There's a lot of those. Dig like a maniac. Press A to burrow underground. Muddy moves well underground. Heart. If you get this, you will cover a quarter of your heart. If you get hit, your life meter will shrink. Oh, he has underground signs, too. My aching head. When pressing A, if I pause like this, the ground is too, uh, too tough to burrow. Also, it speaks in first person. But it says from the grandpa mole, so I don't know what's up with that. Also, am I capturing properly? Because this ball, this like window isn't transform fit to screen. Yeah, it was weird. Like it was capturing the right dimensions, but uh, not like the the thing wasn't lined up properly. So you could already see where this is going. Like there's obstacles underground, but then there's obstacles above ground. So like I could go here and then walk over here, then dig through that, and now dig down here. And I burrow up here, go over here, and dig through this. So it's kind of like a two-layer Zelda game. Black ball. Push or pull the black ball. If you drop it in a hole, see what happens. So yeah, the other thing is that you could do a grab move. If you grab, you can push or pull. If you hold it, you charge. And then you can, you know, you can toss it, or even throw it behind you. Red 
Ready, set, pull. Press B to grab the black ball. You can pull while the ball while grabbing it. Okay. And obviously... Oh, I can't do it from there. Obviously, squares like these you can't dig under. You just bang your head. It's a simplistic game, but it quickly ramps up into difficulty. Lock them up. Use the ball to block your enemies or stop them from moving. What's underground? Nothing. Throw! Press B to grab and stand still. Press left or right to throw. Up and down works too, but not in this room, obviously. So that's how you actually kill enemies. You have to charge the ball and then throw it. And of course, you can throw it behind you as well. Open the exit. Hit the door with the black ball to open it. Then go to the next level. Get going, boy! You got all the signs yet? Well, don't just stand there. Get going. Saving. When you quit, you will continue from the last exit you cleared. Life meter. Try to have a full life meter when you save, or you may be in trouble later on. Yeah, this game saves your health, which is kind of annoying. When in trouble, if you make a mistake, go back to the previous level and try again. That's kind of a mistranslation. They just mean the previous room. You don't want to leave the level. Hmm. I forgot what I was going to say. Sorry. So, killing enemies is not necessary. Just breaking the uh, exit is enough to win. Like that. So, whenever you see those flowers at a border of a level, you're about to reach a rest area, which has the old guy himself. Are my signs helping you at all? I'll recover hearts for you, so just relax. So, whenever you talk to him, he refills your health to maximum. Only the first time you go in the room. If you talk to him again, or if you keep talking to him, he doesn't take too uh, kindly to it. Don't get too greedy with the hearts. We're out right now. Come back later. Don't you have a job to do? Stop bugging me and get to work. You want to continue? You're a persistent rodent. Maybe you should give it a rest. Who are you, ungrateful mole? Just wait till I get my claws on you! And then you instantly get a game over. Though, because of the way the game saves, you literally start right before a save room. Yeah, he kills you. He gets angry enough to kill you. But he does say something different the first time you ever talk to him in each room. So it is worth, even if you have full health, getting a hint from him. It may help you. So now that the tutorials are mostly over, you're kind of left to just, uh... Uh, uh, lost my train of thought. Cabbages. If you drop five cabbages in holes, you get one heart. There are 20 cabbages in each level. Okay, so something that they didn't really explain. Uh, there's a point system in the game, and I do explain it a little later. Um, each of the cabbages is worth a certain amount of points. There's a bonus stage, which is worth points. Collecting the map and the locator item is worth points. And also, clearing every room in the stage is worth points. It's got kind of like a neat little, like, Windows-esque menu. I believe this... Yeah, returns you to the last exit you cleared, and this just exit you to the level select. So the way you cash in cabbages is you dig a hole and just drop them in there. That's one. That's two. That's three. 
Or three. That's five. What the hell am I saying? Did I stop counting? What the fuck is wrong with me? It's a map. Go to the menu to use the map. You only can use it in that level. Find one for each level. So now I have a map. So if I click this, it actually shows you the entire map. S being where you start. Flash room is where you are. The gray room is ones you haven't cleared. White you have. You get the idea. There's some neat little tricks you can do. Like, if you want to dig holes rapidly, if you just tap A, you can do that. It's pretty cool. Obviously, if you dig too many holes, you won't be able to beat the room. Also, touching a ball while it's rolling damages you, so you want to avoid that. There's an item over there. I gotta get over there to get it. And just like balls, uh, cabbages can be used to kill enemies. Anything that moves can be used to kill enemies. Backdrop. If you step in the hole, you can throw things to the other side. Locator. What that the location of a boss or bonus stage will appear on the map. So now, yeah, it tells you boss stall bonus stage. So now it tells you where the rest area is, where the bonus stage, and where the boss is. Pretty self-explanatory. Easy shit. These just refill a heart. Now, got him. Pressing B uh, when you're underground lets you see above ground. I don't know if I showed that off before. You know, I think I attempt that one every time I play this and it never works out. Recovery. Use recovery and your life meter will be refilled. You only get one of those per level, so once you use it, they're gone. If you really truly fuck up a level beyond recognition, you uh, can restart the entire level. Is that a swastika? What? No, oh, no, that's not a sw eh. Questionably. Here, now it's unrecognizable. See, now I don't want to make a hole here, because then I'll be forced to backdrop it. Which will... Oh, actually, no, it doesn't matter. That hole... That thing's right in front of the hole anyway. Because <laughs> obviously, if the ball goes in the hole, then it just respawns. It, it's like spawn point. And you don't want that. At least in some circumstances. There's somewhere it might be necessary. Yeah, and if, you, if you're pulling something and an enemy hits it, uh, you kind of get nudged back a bit. So there's a hidden path out there that leads to another room. Now, you can't actually do anything here. You have to go up here first. What's that? That mark is an entrance to a bonus stage. There's one for each level. So yeah, some underground rooms will connect as well. Obviously, I can't get over there from here. But now I can push this out.
<laughs> I didn't get that item. I'll get it on the way out. So this does count as getting an exit. And to get 100%, you do need to get uh, every exit. A any door that he doesn't dance for after he opens doesn't count, but any doors that he does a little dance for is required. And you need to get 100% on every level to get to the end of the game, so it's worth doing it. Game rules. Drop the cabbages in the holes within the allotted time to win. If you leave him with one, I win. So this is like a little mini-game where you have to end, uh, drop a certain amount of cabbages in the holes and the time limit. Uh, if he hits you, you lose like a couple seconds, so it's kind of rough. Also, he can close up your holes if he digs on them. It is possible to stun him, though. If you uh, hit him with the cabbage, it stuns him. You have to do that in every level. It does get a lot harder. Dang, you win, Furball. Here's the 20 points I promised. So yeah, again, you need to do that in every level to get a perfect score. Yeah, he didn't actually promise anything. Surrender. Use it and you can pass through the exit for just one time, but it won't be cleared. Nice, uh, nice spelling of cleared there, by the way. I never noticed that typo before. <laughs> Cleared with an apostrophe D. Uh, all right. Uh, up shit. No, that that wasn't good. Oh, that's not good. I'm actually gonna be down to health now. So when you use a ball to hit an exit, even if it's a fake exit, the ball won't will not respawn afterwards. The but there's always enough balls to hit the exits that you need to. You're late. I got tired of waiting, so I left my kangaroo for you to play with. But yeah, Dhru can be spelled T H uh, R U. It's a very it's a shorthand way of writing it. What you gonna do? Kangaroon is the boss here. Watch his shadow and place push pins where he lands. So this is how boss battles work. Uh, you just fight them. <laughs> Each one has their own way of damaging them. He's gonna land. That hurts him. You kind of don't want to be around while he's doing this. Most bosses subscribe to the rule of threes, where it's three hits and they're done. It's actually possible to hit him while he's bouncing in place, as opposed to just when he does the high jump. Also, it goes without saying, but this level is very short compared to the rest of the game. Got him. And he throws him like a dumbass. It always ends badly for him. <clears throat> yeah, but you find it weird to write it that way in a sign. Through is something you see some Drabonis use in Twitch chat. Uh, not, yeah, sometimes. I mean, it's, trust me, if you lived in America, you'd see it a lot. So there you go, that's a perfect 100. 10 for the map, 10 for the locator, 20 for the bonus stage, 40 for the cabbages, and then 20 for the map completion. Time does that matter. But yeah, you need 100 on every stage to beat the game.
There are eight levels total, and after you beat level one, you can access every other level except eight. Drive through, yeah, drive through is spelled T H R U. So there is more, there is more to the game, but right now we have our choice of the other six. But we're gonna go in order, because there's no point. <clears throat> it's mostly if you get stuck, they give you the option to go to another level. You can completely restart it if you pick select and you could load it back up. I think your score still stays though, so... Uh, like if you reset level 1, you'll still have a 100, but you could just play through it again. Otherwise it starts you right outside the boss... boss... the boss door. I was touching my throat there. <laughs> 100 point tips. Get all 20 cabbages. Now you've got 40. Destroy all the exits. Now you've got 20. This is just what I just said. Find the map and items. 10 points for each, 20 points total. See, they make it sound like recovery and surrender are worth anything, but they're not. You must win the bonus stage. Get rid of every cabbage. If Jinbei hits you, you'll lose 5 seconds. If you didn't get 100 points, go back and find everything you missed. Sage advice. 4? No, no, I'm just doing them in order. We might get to stage 4 tonight, I'm not sure. I'm Sundays. My light will blind you. I'll be waiting. <laughs> <laughs> to get 100 points, if you want to go to 100 points, go to level 1, read the signs, and follow the directions. See, it's weird because they say level 1, but he's been, he means room 1 of this level. Because they didn't translate this properly. <laughs> Level select, subscreen. Use the lower uh, use the icon in the lower right corner to return to the level select screen. Pretty straightforward. Escape. The icon next to the level select is escape. You go back to the level you last cleared. Which again means the room you last cleared. Not the friggin' level. So Jinbei's a farmer, but he owns a shit ton of statues and leaves cabbages lying around in random fields. Yeah. I, I wouldn't think too hard about it. This is one of those games that Miyamoto was like, I just want to make a silly game that's fun. And you know what? He pulled it off. Not to mention, has a kangaroo and a sun or whatever. Wait until you see some of the other bosses. Not necessary, but I get it anyway. So yeah, this is when the game starts like throwing puzzles like this at you, where it's like you have to go burrow in a specific spot to be able to move around it. Like, you can't go over there from above ground, but underground you can totally do it. If I'm not mistaken, this stage also has a really good typo on one of the signs. Whoops. Okay, the map is in the middle. So we got, uh, looks like seven bots, so 21 rooms. Oh, thanks, Iz. It's always appreciated. I always had this weird thing here where I thought that these like puddles of water were like floating, like they're kind of like a bubble, but it's actually more like it's just the ground is very curved around it. 
I don't know why I thought that as a kid. They were blocks. Even the water parts? I can kind of see that. I mean, I always knew it was water. I just didn't realize it was like... That, like, the edge of the, uh... The edge of the water looked different. Oh, you thought it was, like, granite? <laughs> now nah, we're in tropical islands. Oh, shit. I fucked up. Locator. Well, we don't really need to use it. Again, if you see flowers on the border of an area, that means that you're about to uh, get some healing. Going. If you can't solve a puzzle and get stuck, try another level. Good luck. See, now that, the word level was used correctly. Because he was suggesting to go to a different level entirely. Alright, so this introduces spikes. It's a new puzzle element. Oops, I'm stuck. You can't walk through spikes. Roll a ball or cabbage onto them. So, you can push a ball or cabbage onto it, pull one off, or throw them over it, but you can't step on them yourselves. So like that, you can just send it right through. Alright, these enemies, see that little that little dude walking in the middle? They always walk around the perimeter of whatever they're, like, snapped to. So he would have walked, like, down here, and then up, and then around, and clockwise. It's possible to manipulate their movements later, but it's also, like, very frustrating to do so. Because that wasn't the real exit. Be a peepin' Tom. Press B while underground and look above ground. Enemies above ground can't hit you. But if an enemy is capable of going underground, they can hit you. It's important to note that. So down here, there's one dig spot. The rest area. So you can see the level on Cabbage layout is different each time. Ah, oh, that didn't work out in my favor. Got it. Not bad. See, now I actually don't have to come back here. It's just a shortcut out if I do. But, again, beating that uh, exit is technically required to get 100%. So I will be doing it. <laughs> If 
you planned a weird Sunday stream. Well, I mean, the thing is, I, I really don't do Sunday streams in general. I only do Monday through Friday, or even Monday right now, Monday through Thursday, usually. Would you also accept games Vinny played before? Well, here's the problem. I've seen pretty much every weird sh Sunday stream he's done in the last... Since he started doing them regularly. Which has been, like, a couple years now. So, it probably wouldn't be too surprising. I'm referring more to the format, not the weekday. Alright, uh, I understand. Uh, I would consider it maybe an occasional, like, weird game stream, but... It's also like, I really just... Are you kidding me? What, what's... Why wasn't that... Oh my god, what, my controller, please. So the keys are just getting, like, stuck now. What? My god, stop, please. Okay, there. I can't believe this controller's already breaking. That's annoying the shit out of me. Vidiot game is a must-play for one of these, then. Vidiot? Never heard of that. Unless Vinny played it, and then I probably did. <laughs> he did play it. Weird, you get to choose a, a character on from mush you get to choose a character a mushroom frying pan or potato you know what I think I know what you're talking about now I think I do remember that so now see the puzzle here is both of these I would only be able to push it on one or throw it but if I throw it it'll go down this the holes which actually I could just demonstrate because I gotta kill these enemies anyway and I completely missed them all. Cool. What you want to do is push this right here so that you could just grab it from the other end. Oh, uh, you know what? I think I have to kill the enemies anyway because there's no way to get through here. Are you fucking kidding me? What is wrong with me? You know what, I was too obsessed with trying to get both of them at once, and it wasn't working because of that. Knowing the speed at which the ball moves is also important. So then you go here, go over there, go over here, throw this here, go over here, go over here, throw it behind you, and you're done. On the level select screen, before entering a level, press select to restart it. So let's clear that real quick. Now what's going on with the statue in the upper left? Wait, what? Was he peeing? Is he peeing? I never noticed that. I think he is. Or he's fishing. Wow, I never noticed that before. Also, controller, please, please stop bitching on me. Wow, I never, all the years I've been playing it, I've never noticed that he's peeing in that statue, or supposedly, supposedly peeing. Uh oh, uh oh. This is going to be a little bit of an ordeal here. Got it. There we go. It's like the mannequin piss or whatever it's called. Did 
didn't work. Sunglasses. You need sunglasses beyond this point. The glare could blind you. So usually right near a boss, there's always like a hint for the, for the boss as well. Who's Sundays? You gotta hit him with the ball and drop him into the water. Get underground for his flash attack. Or Sundays. I don't know if it's Sundays or Sundays. So this boss is actually pretty easy, if you know what to do. He only actually has one hit, technically. And yeah, if you're anywhere above ground while he's doing that, it, it, it hurts you. He's the sun emoji, and also he's dead. Hope you enjoyed that for like the two seconds he was on screen. See the cousin of the Mario Brothers 3 son? No, I think he's just the he I I think he's just the sun emoji. With that creepy face. Perfect fucking score, mate. I think I've played this game like 10 times since I got it. Actually, funny story, I got this game completely on a whim. I didn't know this game existed until... I was out at dinner with my family one night, and we just randomly decided to go to like a video game store afterwards. And I saw this there, and I'm like, this looks interesting. Even though I had no idea what it was about, all I saw was that there was a mole on it. And I was like, that's cool, I like moles. So I got the game, and it took me a long time to beat it, because I actually couldn't figure out some of the puzzles as a kid. In fact, I also remember getting violently ill right after I got it, and I spent the entire time I was sick playing the game, and uh, watching Charlie Brown cartoon on TV. Don't know why. Don't know why that memory sticks out to me, but it does. Yeah, I'm Funton. Funton. I dare you to come to me. I will crush you. You don't say. Nothing here. Alright, so another grass stage. This is heavy. You can push it, but you can't pull it. Yeah, he's a ton of fun. So yeah, you cannot push these. You can only, uh, or pull them. You can only push them. And, it's useful for boxing enemies in. These enemies also cannot be killed. Secret path up there, huh? Seems legit. I mean, this is a pretty easy... Oh, shit. See, the nice thing is that when an enemy hits you, they, they when they collide with the wall afterwards, they kind of stay there for a couple seconds, so you can get your bearings. Doesn't... Isn't always too helpful, but... When it is... It... It, it is... I don't know. Double kill. How do I get that out of there? There's no way to get a- wait, I'm, I'm missing something here. Is there a way to get over in that spot that I wasn't noticing? Yep, there is. 
Yeah, it's interesting. Like, the game uses a lot of single-screen challenges, but it also links some of them together so that, like, ex exploration is encouraged. Whoop. Uh, ah, uh, that kind of turned out badly for me. Just a very nice zen to this game. Like, once you get in the groove of solving the rooms, it, like, it just kind of puts you in a good mood. On the opposite side, though, once you realize you fucked up a room, like here, then you're in a shitty mood, because then you're like, oh, I have to reset and start over. stuck there for a second. Alright, now I gotta figure out the right way to go about this. I think I have to get it in the center. And there's no way to cross the center underground. So I have to make the moves above ground. That'll get me where I need to be. As you can tell, the puzzles are getting a little more complex each level, which is, uh, you know, not unexpected, at least. Oop, there's a path down. Redo. I mean, they also, like, if you get trapped, it, and it's very well possible to do that, that's why they give you the escape command. Because it just takes you back room, and you can just try it again. See, sometimes it's just some careful planning. Sometimes it requires a fair amount of thought ahead of time. This one, I believe, is pretty easy. You just gotta... Just gotta push that down. Push that down. And there you go.
So this, let's see, we can go around in a circle. There's a weight that can only push down or up, which obviously it's not going down because then it's going to block the exit. I think it should be safe to burrow up here. Also, you move slower when you're digging a new path, but once you have a path already, you travel it a lot quicker. And that does uh, kind of come into play at some point. Also, I don't know why I came up here first. I still need to be down there. If you want this game, uh, it is on the Virtual Console for the 3DS, and it's only, I think, about 2 or $3, I'm not sure. Definitely worth it. If you use the Give Up item, you can't get 100 points unless you start the level over. These enemies are positioned a little awkwardly. Okay, so... I didn't think that through. In fact, I didn't think it through at all because I could have just done this. Uh, shit. Fucked it up. I was not supposed to do that there. I'm supposed to do it here. So see, like, you're supposed to strategically plat pit. Bleh. You're supposed to strategically place holes in this one in order to just kind of pop it from one spot to the next. How big is this level? Uh, we're about halfway done with it. Actually, I could have still pulled this up. Oh, actually, no, I need it. I need it up on the top spot. Yeah, you gotta strategically place those holes. Shit, no. Oh god, no. Oh hey Gamma, you love this game? It's friggin' awesome. I got this game completely on a whim as a kid, and I don't regret it. It is one of my favorite, like, one-off Game Boy games. And smashed. Back to the weights. Heavy dingies. Ugh. I could dig up here and just wait for a second. I feel like Game Boy had way more than bad, way more bad than good titles. It depends on where you were looking. If you knew, if you knew what to look for in games, you'd find some really good Game Boy games. How am I doing this? All right. I'm gonna no god why Oh 
Alright, let's see what I have to do here. Strategy. Cabbage in the corner. Corner cabbage. Crab crabbage. Jackpot. I remember this room being annoying when I was a kid. I don't know why. I probably just couldn't figure it out in my little baby brain. My bad brain. hole was already there, so I assume that the only weight I can put over here is this one. And then I can do this over here, and that should set me up perfectly. Down, around, around again. And bam, we're done. We did it. This is gonna be annoying, so I'll just wait for this guy to come here and take him out. got here? Three dead men. Circle boys. Ow. You remember a game called Kid Dracula for the Game Boy? I never managed to be as a kid, but when I turned to it one or two years ago, I had no problem with it whatsoever. That was like the um that was like the young Alucard game from for Castlevania. That's a Konami game, isn't it? I remember it has like a happy upbeat version of Bloody Tears. Funton, or Funton, I don't know how you pronounce it. Funton's the boss here. To damage him, trap him in the hole, then attack him. Yeah, it was, it was supposed to be, it's supposed to be Alucard in Kid Dracula. Like, he's supposed to, it's the Alucard from, like, Symphony of the Night, only as a kid. here. No holes barred. Move. Move, you jerk.
go, go, go. Nailed it. Yeah, that, that was a weird... That was like a weird choice. It wouldn't really fit in with the current Castlevania canon to, for Alucard to fight Jason. <laughs> I mean, it was just a silly offshoot. It wasn't meant to be like anything serious. It was just meant to be young Alucard being young Alucard. I mean, you've seen Captain N Alucard and his, his love of skateboarding. Fucked up. Redo. Oh, I see. I have to actually spin it around the entire arena. Or area or whatever. It's not an arena. See, now they start, like, combining all the puzzle elements, so it starts getting incrementally harder here. See, a lot of it, too, like, you have to know to throw it behind you, then pull it back, then push it down. There's a lot of, like, sneaky maneuvering you gotta do. You don't remember an upbeat version of Bloody Tears? It might not have been Bloody Tears, it might have been the other one, Vampire Killer. I'm not sure. I always get those mixed up. level. Oh, we're almost done with it already. I remember this level being a lot bigger. Level 5, I think, is when they start getting really big. If you've been to every room, check my signs for hints. Oops. I know, I know. Don't get greedy with the hearts or kill me. I always... Whenever I see these trees, I think of pudding. They look like pudding to me. Or they look like a cartoon poop, like from an anime. Had really good music. Kid Dracula. Yeah, it did. I've never played it. Maybe I'll play that on stream at some point. Pudding, yeah. Those trees, these treetops. They look like pudding. Did I make that hole there? Because if I did, I'm an idiot. I did. I'm an idiot. You fail to see how they resemble pudding? I don't know. It just, to me, it always makes me think of pudding. Oh, I see. I could burrow up here. Uh, and once I get up there, I have to go up the top, right? So I want to seal off the bottom.
strategy. This is a thinking moles game. Fun, fun, fun to... Finally, you're here. Get ready for... <laughs> it's been three hours and I'm tired. Get ready to play with Funtun. <laughs> oh, come on, controller. What's wrong? Are you not getting enough juice? Is that what it is? Is the plug weak? To be good at this game, you have to watch Rick or Morty and understand it. <laughs> you have to have a very IQ to understand this game. Everything? I got everything. See, he just breaks balls by walking into them. gonna make a hole, a shadow, you dig there, wait. Nail him. Now he gets more uh, shadows, I believe, when he jumps. And he also seals up holes that he falls under. Was I right? Nope. Tough way to break balls, yep. Look, I know what I'm saying. He's a real ball buster. That's what I'm saying. And he's a pain in the ass. Because now he has three shadows. Oh, no, never mind. He still only did two. Oh, no, there was a third one. Got him. It actually just happened to be where I burst out at the last second. <laughs> the real butt of the joke here. Ha 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 ha. Oh, I'm tired. <laughs> Thick mole butt. Alright, level 4. The only level of its type. And of all the level like archetypes that are used in this game, this is the only one that has this design. Because it's meant to be like the halfway point. I will excuse me. I believe this is also where the levels start getting a bit longer. I don't don't I don't know if I'm gonna finish this one tonight. I'm mad wrencher. I love to throw wrenches at moles. Hurry and find me. What a psychopath. He loves nailing innocent creatures with friggin' wrenches. Also look at how many hearts are over there for no reason. Push, pull, and throw barrels. If they get trapped in a hole, you may get stuck. So, the way this works is that uh, the barrels will plug up holes, but it also means you will not be able to go underneath them anymore. So, if I put this here, now the spot's actually closed off because there's a barrel stuck in it. 
almost as bad as Luke Skywalker shooting Womp Rats for fun. I brought that up the other day, because I saw The Last Jedi with my brother, and I, I remember there was a scene where I was, like, bringing that up, and I'm like, man, that's kind of fucked up that Luke would just do that for fun. Then again, I mean, he's a kid living out in the desert. He's got to make his own fun somehow. It's a desert, build a sandcastle or something. <laughs> Did Luke know who the sand people were? Because it's like... I almost feel like that's kind of a weird thing. Like, he lives on Tatooine and he doesn't realize... He doesn't know the native life on his own planet. What the hell? Alright. See, the trick here is that you can actually go one layer above the holes. So you don't actually get caught... Probably just hung out on his uncle's farm all day. I know, but can you imagine, like, never going anywhere else and, like, however old he was at the time? He wasn't a very world-wise person at the time. Tatooine's educational system was kind of lacking. Yeah. Kind of was. We got here. We got, we got a path open on the edge. Interesting. That means we can close this off after we open this. There we go. Now we can close it off. Otherwise, we're going to walk straight into a trap. To get the ball out, we're going to need to get the barrel up there. Pop goes the weasel. Or sorry, mole in this case. Holy moly. 
Wait, no, I made a mistake. I borked it. There we go. Now we should be good. If I actually grab it. Overshot it. <laughs> the puzzle is getting harder, isn't it? Do your best. I'll be rooting for you. Oh, now we got the elbow pipes. If you, uh, excuse me, if you throw a ball in the direction of the pipe, its direction will change. The first direction wasn't actually there. I just said that. I had it in because I was a dummy. So pretty much exactly what you think. You throw it in there, it curves the ball. I believe you could throw barrels in there too. We are about a quarter of the way through this. A little more. Oof. And I am getting tired. <laughs> These cannot be, uh, they're like weights. You can't throw them and you can't pull them. But you can push them. That bell was a red herring, too, because all you need to do is that. Excuse me. Unless I got two for there. So what do I need to do here? I need to push the three elbows in a place. That means I need to make sure that there's room. I also need to make sure I do this in the right order. Because it's very well possible I might fuck it up. So you can't do the corner until the end, because then you can't get this piece up there, or you wouldn't be able to get the bottom piece, because you need to be able to maneuver up here. I can't believe I fucking did that. I'm an idiot. Damn it! I fucked up again. I cannot believe myself. One pipe at a time. So you mess up once and then you start making bad decisions.
I mean, I don't even need that top side. I don't even need- yeah, I don't even need that one. As long as the pipes clear up here, I can do it. You take heroin once, then you make tons of bad decisions. Yeah, that's true. triangles up there. They serve no purpose. Also, I forgot there's something down here that I didn't do yet. that immediately. Okay, so I can't get over there normally. I need that pipe up in the top right, and I need the other pipe in the spot where it goes. Hmm. Alright, I think I know where I have to burrow. I have to take out that enemy then. Wait a minute. If I plan this correctly, I could do this from here. Hold on. You shit for brains. Alright. Asshole! Alright. Oh, wait. No, I didn't think this through, did I? Shit. Oh, wait, I'm okay. Yeah, by the way, your health does not refill when you die. That's weird. I could have swore there was a path here. Huh. Alright, so a bunch of elbow pipes. Hmm. This may require some tricky maneuvering. We want to get, we want to get the elbow pipe that's closest to the ball into that row. Then we want to get another one that'll push it down into the second row, and then we want to get that third one that will just push it all the way to this wall. Not too hard to figure out. There. 
slide this up here. Slide this in there. Perfect. Let's see, 9, 13, and then there's another 12, alright. We got a little more of this level to go. I think I'll just finish up this level for tonight. Alright, this is an interesting one. You gotta make it so that you could use this weight to stop it from going forward. right that didn't work out <laughs> whoops Here we go. Put that there. Push this up. I could toss this one back. Uh, hmm. Wait, no. Shit, that might not work. Fuck. I'm not having trouble with this one now. I never had trouble with that one before. I think I got it. There we go. barrel there, it'll clog up that hole, and it'll push that- alright, I just want to push this here then. Alright, and now that the weight's moved, I can get out there through that dead end.
Clever. You can't throw a cabbage into an elbow pipe. Why, you ask? Heck, I don't know. See ya. Thank you, old man. That was very helpful. This puzzle's cool, watch this. So now that ball's never gonna stop moving. It's just gonna keep going forever. was close. Oh, I know you can throw a barrel into an elbow pipe, because they roll, I guess. I don't know. Don't try to make sense of things. Alright, two doors. Asshole fish. Cabbage is known to block all sorts of pipes. And yeah, it's a good a good point. Good point, my dude. Not the true exit, though. Mm. Looks like the only way to get to the true exit is by... getting over there? Wait, what? Say what now? Whatever. Throw that up, it's just gonna bounce up and down constantly. Oh, alright, yeah. And bam. about that? Boy, more cabbage. So those boots, they speed you up. You want them. However, the ones on the top, I believe, speed Jinbei up, and you don't want those, obviously. Easy one. All 
Alright, so now we can access this pipe. Which we don't need. Because what we need to do is push this pipe around. Right there. looking here. Almost done. Alright, this you gotta push down and then... Didn't have to take the damage, but that was a lot quicker than doing it the other way. We're just playing it safe for no reason. So we got a barrel and an elbow pipe. Obviously, we have to get the barrel in that hole down there, Oop, and then move the pipe. We may want to move the pipe first because there's only one point of entry underground. And, uh, we don't want that to happen there. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, see, I might have messed this up anyway. Shit. I don't know how to beat this. Or wait. Can I just get in around? I could go up. Yeah, alright, never mind. I think in layers. So, a bunch of pipes, a bunch of cabbages, or a bunch of cact a bunch of barrels, a bunch of uh, holes, a bunch of this, that, and the other. Easy shit. Kind of a freebie, honestly. I believe this leads back down to the original area where there's all those hearts for no reason. Ass. Ass. There's two hidden paths here. Mad Wrencher. Use elbow pipes to defeat Mad Wrencher. Watch out for his bombs! If I'm not mistaken, the bombs are like, it hits the entire screen kind of thing. Like the boss of uh, World 2.
Again, some of these puzzles are freebies. They're just there to, like, help you out. Make you feel good about yourself. The blue room on the left is tough. First it's hard, then it's easy. Get it? <laughs> this, I remember being one of the most annoying puzzles in the game here. Yeah. This is, this is the room that might trip me up. I gotta remember how to do this. I think there's, there might be an active uh, kind of element to this one. One, two, three, four, five. All right, yeah, I think I know what to do here. I have to gradually move everything. Starting with this. Let me push this. Repeat the process here. Push this here. Repeat the process here. Yeah, we, we don't want to want to be able to go past it. one. And then once this one's in place, I think we just throw the ball and we do it. I don't know why that one tripped me up so much as a kid. Oh wait, that wasn't right. Shit. Always quick to jump the gun here. There we go. Meet Mad Wrencher. My good friend Mad Wrencher would love to pummel you with his wrenches. Okay. Very redundant. So again, piping. Gotta pipe it up. Oh shit. Alright, gotta stay underground.
Which Mario Brother is this? It's, um... I don't know. Molio. Molio the Mole Hater. And down he fucking goes. You don't talk to him, Luigi. He's a psychopath. Here it's animals for fun. Alright, I've rescued half the family, which is a good place to stop for tonight. And this ungrateful asshole just runs right by his father and goes with his kids. Excuse me. Bad. All right, exactly half the game done. That's not a bad place to stop for the evening. I don't think it's gonna. I think it might take more than one more stream because these last, well, these three levels are extremely long. It is a pretty chill game. These three levels are very long. In fact, I think these three levels have two sections, like two separate environments each. Where, where you go from, like, like the starting area to, like, a different area, and then back to the starting area afterwards. So, yeah, next stream, uh, levels 5, 6, 7, and hopefully 8 as well. We don't know yet. And then after that, I'll start Metal Gear Solid. So, yeah, thank you for coming, guys. I really appreciate it. Thank you for sticking with me this whole year. I'm glad I can end on a fairly high note here. And I hope I could keep bringing some good streams next year, too. That'd be good. That'd be most good. But anyway. Uh, is there anyone I want to host before I go? Not really. I mean, Vinny's streaming right now, so... If you like him, you'll probably be watching him after the stream ends. Host, host Vinny? Eh. I don't generally host bigger channels, it's, there's no point, because then my auto-host won't override it if someone else starts streaming it. Then again, I, I don't have, um, you know, when I auto-host, no one's joining in anyway, so it doesn't matter. But whatever. Uh, you guys have a great evening. Enjoy the last few moments of this year if you still live in 2017. Otherwise, enjoy New Year's Day. And I'll see you next month, next year, and this week. <laughs> Good night, guys.